Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you exactly how I edit and repurpose existing YouTube videos onto TikTok using Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro, by the way, has a very similar user interface compared to iMovie. So if iMovie is your choice of editing tool, this video will also work for you. Why? Because it's so much easier to edit videos, even for TikTok, using a professional tool like Final Cut Pro or iMovie instead of using the TikTok native editing tool. Oh, it is so hard. By the way, this is not a video to help you go viral or blow up on TikTok. Instead, this video is about experimenting and exposing your content to more people through easy and simple steps. Hey, it's Faye from Faze Real Media. This channel is created for content creators like yourself to own your content, build your platform, and grow a thriving business. Before we get started, I wanna take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Restream. Restream helps me expose my content, whether it's video or my podcast, onto 30 plus platforms with just one click. You can download their forever free version and take advantage of that. And when you decide to upgrade, there'll be $10 credit waiting for you, right from Faceworld. And as you can see, this is a footage that I have already recorded and edited for YouTube. It's about eight minutes long. And this was an original video I created for YouTube called Six Reasons Why You Should uh, Repurpose Your Content on TikTok. With that said, what's really easy to edit about this video is that I have these indicators like a lot of you YouTubers out there. So I have tip number one, tip number two, and three, and four and five. So these indicators really help me understand how long or the boundaries um, of where these clips are created and how I can potentially repurpose them for TikTok. To keep in mind that TikTok allows only uh, 60 seconds of footage. So you might have to chop down your footage just a little bit more in order to fit the requirement of TikTok. Step one, I want to revisit this and I'm going to grab the footage from up until tip number one. Then I'm gonna go to file, new, and I will create a new project within the same project. TT TikTok tip number one. And here in the video orientation, I'm going to select vertical, just like that. And I'll keep the rest the same. Click on okay. Now it's an empty new project. Let me rename this to be YouTube original video. Coming back to this, I'm going to just drop in my footage. And as you can see, they're now still in clips. It is actually much longer than one minute. So for me, especially for the first tip, typically I have uh, the beginning of the video kind of introduction. I'm going to chop, chop that down. And then I'm going to revisit this and see how quickly I can get to point and tip number one. So let's go ahead and just crop within the beginning. So that's it. So I'm trimming down what I was saying within the first, I would say two to three minutes, you know, a couple of situations here. So number one, that this right here is simply too long. So what I can do is I can transform it. I can also in the editing panel, I can change the size of the font very easily and turn it into two lines, for example. And by the way, sometimes I find that it's easier to remove all the things that you created just for YouTube. And um, sometimes it's better to reinsert it, to resize it. So let me show you how to actually crop it. The reason why you see such a skinny window is because the black background in the back is right now set up as a vertical uh, size. So what I need to do is not to arrange as you can see right here, but instead what I need to do is to crop it. So. You see, as I'm cropping here, it's like pointing, it's trying to find where my head is. And for all my videos, I tend to stay in the center of the video. But if you're someone who is more stylistic and like to stay in the corner somewhere, make sure that you capture your head. And I understand that for YouTubers who like to move around a lot from one corner of the camera to another, well, it's gonna get a little bit tricky as you're editing this, just to keep in mind. Um, and also as you produce future content, you now know what to do and what to expect uh, to think about, especially if you want to repurpose a piece of content from YouTube to TikTok, then you can shoot it the way that it can be easily edited as well. So now I grab the center. All I have to do is click on done and there we go. So that's it. And what had happened is I just did it for one of the clip. So that's not ideal. I'm going to instead grab the whole thing, right click, make a new compound clip, so now when I crop the video it applies to the whole thing, you know, you can crop even closer to 
the edge if you want to. So now what I can do is just simply export it. So let me show you one thing, export. And in this case, I can just do a simple master file. And I'm gonna save it to my computer. For now, I'm gonna save it to downloads. Um, but for you, you should definitely try to um, have an organization of all your files, how you organize YouTube, and maybe create another subfolder for all your TikTok assets. See, very, very quick. <laughs>